हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द चैनल गार्डन डायरी ऑफ स्पॉट शॉप गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेस्ट डिकम्पोजर इन शॉर्ट डब्ल्यू डी सी इट हैज चेंज द लाइफ ऑफ मेनी फार्मर्स सिंस इट वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाई एन सी ओ एस दैट इज नेशनल काउंसिल ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया अबाउट थ्री ईयर्स बैक द कॉन्सेप्ट इनिशियली वॉज टू minimize the composting time so they have chosen the name as waste decomposer but now with time so many aspects are coming into light people are experimenting so are the labs of ncof in this video i'll discuss what are the main properties of this waste decomposer what it actually has and what are the claims of ncf uh, uh, are doing and how true they can be this waste decomposer actually has two properties two main properties number one it is a very strong organic acid and number two it has some beneficial bacteria the all advantages and benefits which are coming out are through these two properties first the organic acid it helps to decompose the material faster which was then accelerated by the bacteria and we will get any organic material composted in very short time for this property ncof recommend to use this for composting and irrigation in the field by irrigation the soil will be rejuvenated the concept is same it will decompose the organic matter which is already there in the uh, soil and bring out the carbon out of it and even leach out the minerals which are present in the soil and moreover they have few beneficial bacteria which i'll tell you later in this video all these help tremendously to improve the quality of the soil next ncf recommends to use it uh, to make pesticides at home by neem and other weed leaves and micro nutrients from different uh, pulses and micro nutrients from different stones and metals they recommend to soak these materials for 48 hours to 7 days depending on the material they are possibly right because it should work the organic acid will leach out the active ingredients for from these materials and they will be ready for use for the plants in fact all these materials like uh, organic pesticides and uh, organic micronutrients all are available in different packages from different branded companies if the people use this uh, waste decomposer solution to make this at their home they will save lot of money next the ncof recommends for seed treatment here also the organic acid actually plays the role it will soften the coat of the seed and the beneficial bacteria will protect the seed from infection from the fungus and it will definitely increase the germination rate and so is the claim in fact i am using it and i am getting the result next as you are claiming that the water requirement of the soil will be less that can happen because when the soil quality will be improved it will hold more water than before and your water water requirement will be definitely less next the ncof demonstrate the mm, use of this liquid with a wdc solution for organic farming of mushroom we all know in mushroom farming they are using chemical method to sterilize their media whatever media they are using they may be using wheat straw or the rice straw whatever they are using chemical method to sterilize it the organic method at present available is only by boiling uh, that is probably a messy thing and it is not practicable in uh, the uh, commercial setting that's why the people are uh, using the chemical method to sterilize but they have demonstrated ncof has demonstrated that uh, it can be sterilized by 
WDC solution. They had uploaded the video on it and they showed it is working. I will try that in my home and if it is so, then it is really helpful and I think it should work. Next, NCUF is claiming it will reduce the dose of pesticide. My view is the action will be indirect because if you use this product, the overall plant's health will be good. So the pest attack will be less. So per se, it will reduce the dose of pesticide. In fact, the WDC solution has no such property as pesticide. But if you use this WDC solution, that may uh, reduce the dose of pesticide by improving the health of your plant. Now, finally, the most important thing are the beneficial bacteria. NCOF has uh, isolated at least six major bacteria in their lab. They are azospirillium and rhizobium. This azospirillium and rhizobium are the nitrogen uh, fixing bacteria. They fix the nitrogen in the environment into the soil so that the nitrogen will be available to your plant because plant cannot use nitrogen directly from the environment. The second bacteria they found is phosphate stabilizing bacteria that is PSB. Phosphates are available in the soil but plant cannot use it unless that is made usable for, by the plant. This phosphate stabilizing bacteria will make the phosphate available to the plant for their use. Next is potassium mobilizing bacteria or they call it PMB. They fix the potassium available in the soil and make it available for their plant. Another bacteria they have uh, isolated is zinc stabilizing bacteria. They will make zinc available for the plants. Last but not the least is Pseudomonas fluorescens. It is a beneficial bacteria which inhibit the other harmful fungus and bacteria to affect your plant. In this way, that increased population will help to grow your plant healthily and will protect your plant from many diseases. All these are available, I mean these bacteria, are available in the market in bottled form from different companies. Those are forbiddenly costly for home use. Leave aside to use in firming. So WDC if used freely by the farmers, they can see the result and save lots of money and we will get also healthy food. It is practically a zero cost solution to the organic farming. I congratulate NCOF team for the excellent R&D and for offering such a gift to the Indian farmers. Hope this video has helped you to learn about WDC. If you like this video, please press the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe my channel for many such videos. Thank you for viewing.